Hello there, I am Giant Quod with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we finished up the Petal Book Woods, finished up Route 104. Uh, we got the Wind Repel and the TM09 for Bolt Seed from uh, the second in the second half of Route 104. And uh, we taught Bolt Seed to Geico. And we also uh, brought a couple more trainers, including a Fisherman who had three, three Magic Carps. We made it to Rush Bar City, got the HMZ1 for Cut taught that to Larry, and then we uh, headed up north to about 115, got a super potion, after that we headed uh, west of, or east of uh, Washboro City, like northeast I should say, and we uh, went through the rest of tunnel, we went through the next route there, uh, yeah, that's basically right where we were, and now we backtracked all the way back to Washboro City again, because we need to take on the gym to progress in the game actually, so yeah, let me switch Geico up to the front actually, so yeah. So let's walk in, and this gym uses rock type Pokemon, so let's talk to the Ice Giver. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, but not me, but I can give you, sure give you winning advice. That's settled with then. We'll aim for the tri Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders want pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'll, I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock type Pokemon. The rock type Pokemon. The rock type is very durable, but it can't stand water and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Well, go for it. Thanks. Rush Bros City Pokemon Gym. Okay, cool. Now, let's not, not battle any of the trainers. Just go take the route I'm taking. And uh, you can make it to Roxanne perfectly fine without any battling trainers. But I like to battle trainers because experience is your friend. So let's do it. If you can't, you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. Okay, fine. I'll try to beat you then. It's on. Youngster, Youngster Tommy. Okay, cool. Judas level of an awesome. Let's go for the Bolt Seed. Let's see how much this does. Nice, okay. Cool. And that's the only Pokemon as far as I know, so that's good. Yeah, cool. He's done for. Wow, you're, you've you got some potential. Thanks. Awesome. Don't take us gym trainers lately, I'll show you why we're better. Okay. Show me. So this is Youngster Josh, okay, a super Pokemon. Gee, this is level 10, okay, cool. Let's go for the Bolt Seed again. Yeah. You like that Bolt Seed, don't you? Not really, haha. <laughs> it's super effective. Because, you know, Grass and Water type moves are super effective, four times super effective against these Geodudes, which is really nice, actually think about it. Okay, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna keep Geico in. Yeah, I think this is the trainer I was talking about. Not that hiker on, in the last part that we faced um, with the Geodudes. I think it was this trainer. He has like a Geodude level 10, Geodude level 8, and a Geodude level 6. So yeah. Oh, I got cousin level 16. That's gonna evolve after the battle. Nice. So in pursuit. What do we move to one for to make him for pursuit? Let's get rid of, um, let's get rid of Pound, I guess. Yeah, I got to figure pound and got going in pursuit. Nice. Okay, has an edgy dude. Okay, cool. That's cool. Let's go for the bolt seed. Yeah, this dude is level six. So he has a G dude. He has a. This guy has a G dude. Level six, level ten, and level eight. Nice. Okay, yeah, nice. You too good for me. Thanks for the ninety six pocket dollars. Don't feel so down about yourself, man. You get better. Don't worry. What? Geico is evolving? Geico is evolving, nice. I guess Trico is like a tree gecko too, if you think about it. And the Geico from the Geico commercials is, or the gecko from the Geico commercials is the gecko too. So, huh, that, that, that name does make sense, nice. That nickname does make sense, okay, yeah. You got a gecko evolved in the Geico file. It's trying to only fear character. Um, I don't know if I want to, uh, I, I'm gonna skip out on Fear Counter. It's 10 power and it intensifies every time it, it hits successfully. But I'm probably gonna skip out on it. I don't really need it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip out on Fear Counter. Sorry. Okay, yeah. Let's talk to like, Roxanne. Let's talk to from the side, actually. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Vesper City Vesper Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply what I have learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? 
Sure, why not? Let's do it. So she has two Pokemon, one's a Jeter. Okay, cool. It's level 14, nice. It's good for the Bolt Seed. Nice. It's gonna take it out. Awesome. I guess it cheated. Nose pass, okay. Now this nope this nose pass, unlike Jude, it's not rock ground type, it's just a pure rock type, so it's not gonna be four crest and water type moves not gonna be four times super effective. Oh and by the way, if you just start with uh Torchic, I'd recommend you evolving your com uh, Torchic into Combuscaban at level sixteen. I think it's evolves at like level fourteen or sixteen, I think it's fourteen actually. Because then that learns double kick and then fighting type moves are super effective in rock type moves, so that's a way you can, you know, beat Roxanne if you're Torchic or if you're Combuscans. If your Torchic is evolved in Kabuskin and is strong enough um, and has double kick. So yeah. Let's go for Let's go for the bullet seed, I guess. I mean, I don't really have a strategy in taking this thing down other than using super effective moves or what moves I have and depending on the situation that's gonna come out. Depending on how this is gonna turn out, really. So let's go for the So how much will pursuit do? I'm just kinda curious. Yeah, it does about the same amount, okay. Rock Tomb, okay, that's gonna lower Geico's speed. All critical at G's, of course. Okay, finally use Absorb. Let's get some HP back too. Now, she's gonna use a potion if the Nose Pass is- Oh, wow! If the Nose Pass has enough HP. But, uh... Yeah, that took out the Nose Pass. Wow, critical hit. Awesome. Nice. Geico grew level 17, awesome. Fear Roxanne, awesome. So I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. Sorry, I understand. It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Next for 1500 Pokedars, Roxanne. Yeah, we got the stone badge. Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables you to move the H to use the the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. This TM39, which is Rock Tomb, which I don't think I want to teach any more Pokemon. Except for maybe a future Pokemon I'm gonna catch soon. I'm not even sure. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that TM39 contains Rock Tomb. Um, it only affects damage. It not only it not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, but also lowers speed. If you if you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to your Pokemon. And remember, a TM can only be used once, so be careful. So be so think before you use it. I was about to say, be careful uh, on which Pokemon to pick or to use it on. I get stuck to the rice cave again. Whoa! What a breathtaking, breathtaking victory! My cheers! My cheering must have worked. Great! Check out your trainer card. The stun badge you should uh, you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you're climbing the you climb the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. Thanks, man. Okay, let's press the Pokemon Gym, Roxanne certified trainer, Steven. Nice. So if we go to our trainer card, as he said, we get the we have a strong badge, which is like two arrows going left to right, pointing left and right, which would be cool. Does anyone have an items I can pick up? Okay, yeah, two has one, nice. Super potion awesome. Okay, a lot of super potions really. <laughs> Get out of my way! Ah, oh, that's a Team Magma gun. We have the same one. Ah, oh, man. Wait, please, don't take my goods. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to... Switch to Larry. I wanna buy a couple more. I think I wanna buy like three more repels though. Cause I'll need them. So I'm gonna pick them up real quick right now, actually. So yeah, buy... Uh, let's see, repels. Yeah, let's buy three more. Nice. And now we can go help that guy, that Devon Goods researcher person that works for the Devon Corporation. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, it's you. You're the fantastic trainer who helped me in the Puddle of Goods. Help me. I've been robbed by Team Magma. I, I have to get the Devon Goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Well, why do I have to pick up after your messes? I'm just kidding. I'll do it. Oh, shit. I, I forgot to put the Pell on G's. Okay, there we go. Nice. Do I still have Larry front? I've switched to Larry. Yes, I did. Cool. Just making sure. Can you just cut over here to get to battle those trainers too, which is nice. Okay, here's Mr. Briny. 
actually. Oh, what am I to do? We, we were on a walk, Pico and I, when I was jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my dog, and Pico. Whoa, Pico! I was like, that dialogue. Whoa, Pico! Whoa, Pico! I don't know how to say it, you know? What are you, what are you coming? Come and get some then. I can't, I can't at all. That hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made it get away into the tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you. Sh you want to battle me? Yes, I do. Let's go. That's some catchy music. I'm sorry. Okay, let's just head on this thing. Just send the attack on us, of course. You know, well, where is the t accuracy, which is not very nice. There we go, nice. Thanks for playing. <laughs> oh, my career cr of cr in crime comes to a dead end. Literally. <laughs> Thanks for 220 pocket dollars, though. That is playing not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. And I had... And all I had to do is steal some package from Devin. Tuh, you want it back? Bad, we take it. We obtain the Devin goods. And just runs off, I guess. Am I glad to see you're safe? Pico, am I glad to see you're safe? Pico has her wife to you. They call Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you are Steven. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can always find me in my cottage by the sea near Paddleburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make we should make our way home. And then, Pico? I don't even know how to pronounce that cry. <laughs> For the wingle, but whatever. The store is now open. He's not bucking the house anymore, so I guess we can just talk to them. But to get to Verantype without cr using this tunnel, you'd have to cross the sea to do for sail on to Sleepport and travel through Mauville. Mauville. Okay, that rest of tunnel there. At first, there's a huge crew boring uh, through rock, boring through rock with the latest machinery, but now we had to stop. Turns out that we had had a negative effect on the world Pokemon in the area, so we've got nothing to do but lull around here doing nothing. Okay. The, there's a man digging his way digging his way to Verdon Turf all by his lonesome. He's desperate to get through. He says that if he digs little by little without using machines, he won't disturb Pokemon and I'll avoid harming the natural environment. Cool. A powerful effect off good timing, actually. So I'm gonna keep way up front. She looks like it can be cut down. Which I just cut? Yes, get away. Use cut. Nice. I think this is a school kid. I think this is a school kid, Jerry. If my memory serves me correct. Um, we learn all sorts of things at the strange school. I want to test them things out for real. Cool. That's just great, man. That's just great. As a roll, it's okay, cool. Let's go for the headbutt. It gets confusion on us, okay? Or on Wary. We? There we go, there goes the rolls. Yeah, I was school kid, Jerry. I was right. <laughs> I slacked off in school, that's why I lost. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, man. Thanks for the $200 pocket always, man. Gotta go this way. Here's another school kid. I study at school and I study on the way home too. That's good to know. Study, study, study. School kid can't really like the battle. Okay, she has a Shroomish, level 9. Okay. Now I'm afraid this Shroomish might have Expect Spore as its ability. So I'm not looking forward to that. Oh my gosh, Stun Spore. I'm getting some absorb. Dang it. So this true message is being very annoying on to be honest, you know. Nope, I can't oh my gosh, why pay? Why Shroomish? Why? Why are you have to be such a jerk? I just wanna defeat your Shroomish. Uh defeat you I mean. Yeah, defeat you. <sighs> Man, it's, if Larry uses headbutt, it's gonna survive by like half a uh, no like it's surviving the reds for HP. But since all this is happening, it's okay, never mind. So it, all, it all worked out. It all worked out, which is nice. Okay, where's my, okay. 
Let's switch to um, Geico. Oof, War is an item for me. Nice. We'll check, that. we'll check that after battle and take it. Nice. Let's go for the quick attack, I guess. Just uproar. Okay. Cool. Let's go for the quick attack again. Okay, yeah, nice. Let's just cut right here. I think there's a hidden item that if you cut down there. So yeah. I forget what it is, but uh, we'll check it anyway. Is there an item right here? I guess not, okay. Here's a super potion, awesome. Nice. Oh yeah, we wanna check that item that Foy got us. And one also has another item too. Cool. Another super potion. An ultra ball, nice. Two pineapple berries, nice. Two chester berries, nice. Again, chester berries. He'll pour, uh, he'll sleep, I mean, he'll sleep. I don't want to paint a berry, actually. <laughs> Very good, nice. Two chester berries, or two more chester berries, I should say. And then this should be two more pineapple berries. Okay, yeah. Here's an ether, which I'll put on the PC, actually. So, yeah, let's make it back to. Wait, back to Rushboro City, but first, we have to. Give back the Devon Goods to this Devon Researcher guy. Oh, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did it. You got them back. You were a great trainer. I know. As my next, I'll give you another great ball. Obtain the great ball. Nice. Put the great ball in the ball's pocket. Excuse me. Please come with me. This is the Devon Corporation State Floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyways, I can tell. I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Can I get you to deliver that to the shipyard in Slateport? It would be an awful. It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. Uh, he he. So uh, can I count on you to do that for me? Oh, that's right. Can could you be here a second? Sure, why not? Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Cool. Please go ahead. I am Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not once, just not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to sleep with shipyard. Why on the way could you st ship stop off to in Dufort Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen. I forget the last part, dang it. Okay, yeah, uh, cool. Now you should know that I'm a great president, so I I didn't never be so cheap as to ask if you ever for nothing in return. That's why you can have this. We get the Poganab, nice. That device, it's a Poke Navigator or a Pokenab for short. It's an indis indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the home region. You can check the locations of Duford and Sleepport easily. Okay, to do that real quick, let's look at uh, Pokenav. Home map, I guess we can go for that, yeah. So here we are in Rushbor City. We want to make it all the way down to um, the Duford town to deliver the letter to Steven. And then we want to go all the way to Sleepport City and deliver the package of the Devon Goods to the Sleepport shipyard. So that's what we're gonna do. But how do we get there, my ass? Well, Mr. Bernie, Mr. Briney should help us with that. Which is nice, okay, yeah. I think if you talk to one of these scientists, they'll give, they'll, uh, they'll help revive a fossil you get later on in the game into Pokemon. So yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center and put, how, what do I have to put in the PC? Okay. Um, Ether, I guess. Yeah, an Ether. Okay, cool. And I'll select the X special too. So I'll be right back with all that done. See you guys in three, two, one. And here we are in front of the Pokemon. Let's talk to May right here since she's here. Oh, hi, Steven. How is your Pokedex coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. I caught a Pokemon in Puddlebug Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. Cool. And Emerald, she does battle you though, but in Ruby and Sapphire, she does not battle you. 
And by the way, if you chose the girl character in this game, uh, your rival will be Brandon, or Brendan. I think his name is Brendan. And he's not as nice as me, honestly, if, if you ask me. Because I've had, uh, I've saw Super Mega do, um, the, uh, I saw Super Mega do the Let's Play of, um, Pokemon Emerald, and they played as May, the, the girl character, and then Brendan seemed like a jerk, really. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, oh wait, uh, I didn't use cut on, uh, on one of the trees right there, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, next accuracy. Cool, nice. So yeah, let's get back into the Petal Woods. Actually, right up front. I forget. Okay, up right front. Okay, cool. Let's get down this tree right here. I'm gonna put a pell on actually. So let me do that. There's a tiny mushroom, I believe. Yeah, tiny mushroom. Cool. Nice. Okay, yeah. Oh, neat. That's the gym. That's the badge from Rush Bros. Gym. You must be a trainer. You should try using this item, which is a miracle seed, which raises the power of grass type moves, which is awesome. I'm actually gonna give that to, uh, to not the tiny mushroom. I'm gonna give the miracle seed to Geico. Okay, over here's an item. It is a great ball. Awesome. Here's another item. It is an X attack. Okay, cool. Here's another item. It's a tiny mushroom. So that's another tiny mushroom. Jeez. And we made it through. Okay, cool. Nice. Let's hop over this ledge right here. I'm gonna go back. To, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. Not the Pokemon Center, but the um, Pokemon Mart and sell those items that we just got. Like the tiny mushrooms and the X items. Okay, so X attack. Yeah. Sell the tiny mushrooms next. And the X accuracy. Very good, nice. I think the Pokemon music in this game is very catchy, honestly. Do 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 do. Okay, so here's Mr. Briny's cottage up here. If you go inside, he's just chasing his uh, Pico, I guess. Uh, yeah, where well, I can stay up front, I guess. Okay, I have to, t I have to time this right. There we go, nice. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Uh, oh, hi. Hmm, you're Steven. You saved my darling Pico. We owe so much to you. Uh, what's that? You you want to you want to sail with me? Hmm. So you have a what what a bound. For Duford and a package for Sleepport, then quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You come to, to the right man. We set the Duford, yes. Duford, here we, here we come. Anchors away, Pico. We sail on Medallion. Okay. How do we fit in that boat? Because, like, the, pers the scaling on that, like, you saw how big we are compared to the boat. How do we, what, how do we fit on this boat? Jeez. Okay, skip one of all these water routes, which is nice. And we're gonna all, and we're gonna make it into Dufruit Town, like it says right there on the top left corner of your screen, where it did. Haha. <laughs> Ahoy, we hit land in Dufruit. I must suppose you have to, uh, to deliver that water to who was it now, Stephen? Okay. If you go in here and talk to this person right here, they'll give you the, um, scarf, I think. A silk scarf? Yeah, it's six scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of some whatever. Oh, I can I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. Yeah, which is some no type moves. Cool. I think I don't have. I think I don't want to use it really for right now. So I'm gonna put it in my PC real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, what else do I want to do? I think you give us an old rod, right? Uh, this is a re renowned fishing spot. Are you ready? Are you getting the itch to catch fish? Yes, I am. I hear, and I like what you're saying. I'll give you one of my fishing rods. We get the old rod. Nice. Cool. 
and has an iron bonus saving throw and a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water, then use the rod. Focus your mind. If you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you can snag something immediately, but with bigger catches, you need the time to pulls of your on your rod and haul them in. Okay. Is there any items in these rocks? I don't think there is. Yeah, we can take on the gym now if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. Okay, so there's trainers up there. I'm gonna end the part actually right here. So yeah. Let me see, how many Pokeballs do I have? Oh, I love Pokeballs, cool, okay, cool. So yeah, so this is my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walk the part. Next part we'll take on more of Deerfoot Town, take on Granite Cape hopefully, and probably even take on the gym if we have time. So yeah, this has been Draco again. I would like to thank you for goodbye, and hope to see you guys next for my Pokemon Ruby Redo Walkthrough Guide.